Hi folks and welcome back to Biblical Britain Uncoded or I should really call it the Atlas Matrix, the last message written in Matrix Uncoded. Um, ties with obviously with the Old Testament um, and as I'm about to show you um, some incredible, in fact, uh, and I say again, I say this every time, these codes just mind blowing. I continually shake my head in disbelief when I when I actually find them. But this is the it is when I say it's not simplistic. It's basically it's a, it's a whole huge it's a huge code um, written in the matrix, which is your matrix with a P. Basically, um, I'll get into that a little bit later. Just for people who are new to this, um, the first thing I would ask you. Is if you're new, if you are new to this, bear with it because you're about to see something in, impossible that is written in, into literally into creation, proving to well, is be proved to me beyond any doubt that there is a divine end plan, um, uh, and uh, well, and it's predominantly between the stars and the uh, you know constellations and the atlas and atlas being a, 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 a anagram of a, a last it's the last message using map tricks okay this sort of video is summing up pretty much everything that i've spent probably well since this whole thing began turning me from somebody who didn't believe well i still can't get my head around it now to be truthful and to say the things that I'm about to say, there's no way on this earth would I ever put this out if, it, if, it, if I didn't have anything to back it up. But to say I've got something to back it up is, is, is an understatement, as you're about to see. Um, the chances, again, what, what you want to do is weigh up the chances of all this being coincidence. Um, and, and, and more importantly, how I get it, because what you're about to see have decoded, I mean, in a total of probably... I don't even know. Well, I don't, I spent four hours on it, five hours maybe actually doing the actual, well, the actual decodes, even less than that. Of, but um, how do I get this? Huh. As crazy as this, and it is going to sound crazy, I literally, and I don't know exactly how, but somehow through consciousness, I get these, well, I get these triggers, or, or I don't know what you call it. But these thoughts, they're literally thoughts that, that where the man above, Yahweh, <laughs> is puts into my head or, or, or is from some sort of program. I, don't, I can't really explain it and, and, and I'm not even going to try but, but try. but as you'll see, in two and a half weeks, I've encoded this lot now. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, just to, just to show you right, obviously you've heard of the Ark of the Covenant. Okay, well, well it's effectively the Ark of the Agreement. And the Ark of the, of the Agreement, <laughs> in modern terms, is, the, is an, as unbelievable it sounds, is, is an evacuation ship from Earth. Um, and uh, as I say, I, you know, obviously, if you've, been, if you've been watching these videos, you will see the amount of evidence. And when I first got this, this um, the first EVAC code, my initial reaction was, no, well, no way. I was shaking my head. And as I said to you, I said to you, I need, um, I, you know, I said, look, I, I can't put this out there because this sounds absolutely crazy. And, it, and, and, you know, without evidence. And it wasn't that I didn't believe it because it, it, it kind of made sense having decoded the picture of a ship on, um, on a map. But however, lo, lo and behold, here we go three videos later and I'm about to show you some of the most mind-blowing evidence of, of, of the whole thing. All right, all right. Well, so a covenant is an agreement. Simulacrum is another word for simulation. You can Google it; it comes up. But it's in, this is actually encoded, so it's kind of a simulation of the of the covenant of of the, of the deal of the ark ship. That's what it what it really is. Now the code in this is. I'll do this one so you know how all this code is pretty much done through anagram and clues and every and, and a few other things, but but you'll see as we go how clever how, oh, how incredibly clever it is, and that no person on earth could ever put this this code together. It has to be from the one and only divine, well, the, the, the man above the 
Or the, I don't know, he's no age of pontifying. Okay, so for anybody who's new to this, Ventus Eilurum is a fort in South Wales. Um, if you Google Ventus Eilurum, you'll find it's a place called Cowent. And it's a so said Roman fort. Without going into it, it's impossible to decode it all right now, but effectively what, we, what it is is Jerusalem. Uh, uh, okay. Now, well, funnily enough, the name of the ship is in there as well. It's the Argus. It's the Argus Navis. And the Mel is, is literally the LZ. It's the, it's, the, it's the fort, or the key fort, in the, in the whole of this. There's two forts. One is a stone fort, which is Ventus room. The other is Clan Melin. Again, I've decoded all this. If this, this isn't going to make a lot of sense if you knew. But just hold tight, because even this the next, next lot of code... I will prove, oh, well, hopefully prove to you that there is a matrix. And, the, and like I say, and, and it's not whether I, uh, you know, my, everything in my human human mind, if you want to call it that, says says this can't be possible. But when I see this code, it's, I just, it's impossible to not be possible, if that, that makes sense. Um, but however, like I say, we can talk all day about it. But, um, and, I, and, and again, I oh, just want to make a point. I mean, I've said this all along. I've not been looking for... I don't even know how I got to this position, folks. It's, it's so bizarre how I've been led to doing this. And I'm not somebody that, 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 that you know, that, that, I'm not living some fantasy or trying to find things to make it happen. This, this stuff just comes to me piecemeal. I decode things that have never been decoded and you should never find it. And I wouldn't find it if I wasn't getting guided from the one from above. And I know that sounds crazy, and years ago, if, if somebody had come to me and said this type of thing with their evidence, I would have fell about laughing, I'm not going to lie, you know, and I, well, I would have felt sorry for them in truth, but ultimately, uh, seeing, you know, you watch these videos and you see how this keeps coming to me week after week after week, or day after day, really, bits and pieces, and then it all slots together and makes it these, well, undeniable codes. On that note, let's get on with it and just bear with me a second. Okay, folks, all right. Canis Minor, the lesser dog, and Canis Major, the greater dog. Okay, on the last video, I, I uns unscrabbled the message written in, in the, 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 com the combined sort of star code, if you like, of these two, which said, Marco, ID, your Argus ship LZ, see Armada, I am, I am in war zone. Obviously, there's not just one ship, the Argus nav is coming for the rescue, um, and I will prove that, well, if it's wrong, I, I, there's no way, but, but either way, right, but the actual stars, I said I had, I, I, well, I thought I had them, I didn't even, wasn't even close, but when I got this, I got this in, in literally in seconds, I kid you not, but, the, but right, the code in this is absolute genius, right, okay, you've seen me draw these pillars of Solomon and the, and the, and the arch in cancer before now, but this actually gives you, well, firstly, it says Marco realised the Roman Catholic reset. What this is, is the resetting of the Holy Land, in, in basically in, in the Middle East, for one. Um, it's also to do with the, the um, well, the, 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 they're trying to cause a reset, effectively, but obviously it's all going wrong, and, and they're now in the process with the, the, the RC being the Roman Catholic, that's the Vatican, basically, um, in tow with the World Economic Forum, the Beast, which I've decoded, and Lawrence Douglas Fink being uh, Lucifer. Sounds crazy, but it's all in code. You can, and if you go back over these videos, you'll see I've uh, comprehensively kind of proven it using nothing more than the Atlas and Stars. Okay, so Marco realised Roman Catholic reset of the Holy Land, effectively, but let's prove it's, it's where I have said it is all along. Right, it's, then it says, get sign. Okay, well, you've seen me draw this a million times. Get sign. The sign is Cancer, because this is a star map. Um, bear in mind, this is a picture of the Earth, so this is, this is the Atlas. 
I just will do it all while I'm here. It's the Atlas. There's a picture of the Atlas. This is a picture of, in fact, it's the Gwyneth Zodiac. Um, if, you, if you Google it, the Gwyneth Zodiac is Go ID Cass Newet. It's just got a Z in it. That's probably to do with the safe zone. That's, that's an anagram of Gwyneth Zodiac. Cass Newet is Newport. Okay. Where the RGH is. The RGH is the Royal Gwent Hospital where I was born. When I was into it, this, this is going to come up because you, you'll see it mentioned that the RGH house is written in the Orion Code, um, head RGH house, final land. This is in the stars in Orion. Okay, right, the RGH house is where I was in the womb, basically. It's my registered place of birth, which is literally 15 feet from the lock on the temple. Okay, um, right, so let's do let's go with this. So we get sign, okay, so we draw the sign. You've seen me do this many times in the past. It connects the two forts up to Holyhead, in, um, which would be Udea, which is where Wales, basically. Um, then you've got Canaan, Egypt, which is Cornwall. Canaan is England. I know it sounds crazy, but I can prove, well, I've proved it beyond, I would say, beyond reasonable dates. They, these are map lines, obviously. And what they do, right, so first of all, you can you put the map line down and like i said i did this long before i got this code so this is just like again just massive proof of what i've been saying all along is correct get sign okay add moon what well, this is what i've been doing all along so you've got the crescent moon which is, which is an anagram crescent moon of secret sea on mon the secret sea is when you add the secret sea to king solomon's Temple, well, I'll just do his key, but his temple as well. Okay, but when we scrabble this, it says, so locking. Mons. Uh, Mons key, which is the key fort, which is La Merin. This is the key. Then you've got the lock on the temple, the picture of the lock. When you line the two up, you've also got the apple of Eden, but we won't go into that. Right, so you've got basically you've got a star map, okay? Now, when the moon, uh, oh, and, and you've got the, 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 the seven stars of the Pleiades, which says, which is an anagram of please ID. So, please ID, secret C in please ID. This is secret C on Mon, add the secret C, so lock it in Mon's key, so lock it in Mon's temple. That's just King Solomon with a C, and, and obviously what you want to do. Then you've got the the picture of the zodiac on the one pillar, uh, that's the Gwent zodiac. So it says, Go ID, Cast Newith. Canaan, Egypt, Udea is a K E Y is a key. Oh, this is Exeter, is, is the map coordinate. This is Swindon. So you've got Seek, um, Seek, and then you've got Key, and then you've got He's, and then you've got Gumry, which is Gumry, is Mr. Guy. Okay, so it's got even got my name encoded in it. Okay, so it says add moon. So when the moon comes to the full, highlights the safe zone basically. This is the rendezvous, this is the LZ. And like I say, if this makes no sense, go back on the others. But what you have is the Royal Arch in Cancer, Jerusalem, and a bit more complex just to do quickly, but you've also got the Melling H. Or the Mel H, it's Clan Melin with the secret H man, which is written in Manchester. There's also where the key points to his caution, it says Michael's H. Okay, so I'm the secret H man that basically is encoded in all of this. Unbelievably, again, uh, beyond me, how, how, but it, it absolutely is. Atlas is a last, so what you've got is a last message. Then you've got the padlock, which you'll see shortly on the map because this becomes apparent as well. To break the matrix, you need to break the padlock, and it says add P lock. Just re anagram it. When you add P to matrix, it becomes matrix, and this is the secret. It's all a last message written in using matrix. Okay, but it obviously symbols as well, but the symbols obviously tie up with the same thing. So you've got cat so the <laughs> Marco realizes the Roman Catholic reset. So let's where they reset everything 
created Jesus. I'm afraid he is not coming. It's a rescue ship. Um, if you don't believe me, go back from the last at least three videos. And believe me, what I'm showing you is only an accumulation of all the code that, that you know, that, that are the things I've encoded. Okay, get sign, add moon, join the RGH. RGH. So when I was taken from the womb of the Matrix to the Royal Gwent Hospital, I entered through the Royal Arch in Cancer because I was born on 30th of June. Again, born in Cancer. Um, you've also got the sun with a face because it represents a person. And what it amounts to is the sun of the moon sign, born in Cancer, uses the atlas of the stars basically to identify the safe, well, the, the, the safe zone, the ship, well, and everything else that I get that I, that I get shown. Okay, just hold you there a second. I've got a lot to go through. Okay, the next star code. Um, again, just got these. Well, I don't even know how I got them. It just, it just instantly came to me. And, and like I said, eighty-eight constellations in the night sky. Um, obviously, you know, ob well, knowing that which ones connect with which ones. In, in an instant, really should tell you that, well, even if I did it in two and a half weeks, it would take, you'd never find it unless you have shown it. Okay, Cygnus the Swan, Pegasus the Winged Horse. Both white sort of creatures, I guess. That was another sort of thing that came like, to identify it. But it says, he sink Argus Gwent News, ID the house as PG. Okay, the Argus Gwent News, um, firstly, well, right, okay, right, let's do, so firstly you've got the P and the G. Okay, the P as I've shown you is the add P lock, it's the map tricks. So you've got the um, so you've got the padlock on the temple and the house next door. So this is the house because the padlock is in Jerusalem, which is spelt with a G. Again, I've got, I'm not going to go into all that, but but um, again, you've got the Argus Mel as well, which is this is just an anagram of Argus. Bear in mind the decoded const ancient constellation of the Argus Navis, which is where you get the ship drawing on the map from, which I've got. A pretty rushed version I'll show you in a bit but the Argus Navis and then you've got the, and the Mel is from Melin and then you get the uh, well the VLZ again it's the landing zone this one's the, the rendezvous and that one's the LZ rendezvous written in River 7 7 is an anagram of CNRV okay so um, you think the Argus Gwent News well the Argus is the Gwent newspaper and this is all to do on the other on the Great Seal of Solomon, again, I've, done, I've broken all these seals down, but there's so much more to it than this. But what you've got is, is this, <laughs> it's worth pointing this out as well. You've got, I don't know, right, firstly, uh, an awful version of a star, but what you've got is a, basically it's a star cut now. So on there, in the, in the reflection in the water on the, on the seal, you've got a picture Made up, it's, it's cut in half, so you've got the reflection, join it together, and it makes a star. But what it is, is a, it's a, it's a, a, paper, a paper ship. The other side, you've got the level. It's not, oh, I don't know how you draw it, but you've got one of them, an old, like an old fashioned level and the reflection of the level. Um, and then what you do, you take the hexagon, which is a hex on G, which is in the centre of this star, makes a hexagon, and, it's, and that says a hexon G. So if you know it's a hexon G, you know the G went. And then that gives you the first part of the code being Gwent. And then you've got the, this level, which is, which is reflected in the water, which also represents the Newport um, West Dust Lighthouse. It's the, where I did the first landmark video which um, between me and Danny Olshian, which is the first video, so it also represents that. But a level levels. Now the place where this this this, this ship is, is is literally on the map is is <coughs> it's called the Gwent Levels. But um, as you can see, it's a Newport landmark paper ship. Well, the Newport paper and the Gwent paper is the South Wales Argus. And that is the news. The news is also because the fort itself, G. Roos, is a compass. Okay, now, hidden in the word compass, not only is it the, well, you've got north, uh, east, south, west. 
Well, this is basically N-E-W-S news. Okay. It's called, it's the G-Rusa part of, of um, well, Lem, which is backwards in order, reverses Mel. Obviously, this is, again, this is down to that, but this is, again, this is Argus, which is the Gwent paper, or the South Wales Argus, is the, is the paper for the South Wales. Now, the news is also a compass, and a compass is an anagram, is C, map, S, O, S. That's an anagram of C, map, S, O, S. So this is the map, S, O, S. The, obviously, the lock is in the centre as well. So that, and it's also the to the matrix that we were not the matrix. Uh, oh, there's so much more to it than this. But again, I'm giving the shortened version. Um, yeah, I well, right. Okay, I'm going to leave it on that because I've got so much more to go through. Um, this this sentence. This is just an anagram of this. So you just cross each letter out, put it down, same. But like I say, I could go into a whole lot more detail. But I've, I've, everything I'm telling you is already decoded through through so many de well, there's so many of them. It makes this impossible. Okay, right now before I think that right. Um, oh, here's an interesting one. You know, and obviously my name. Oh, this is written long. Well, I say written. It's obviously coded long before. It's in creation. So there's only one person that could have coded all this there, and clearly. Well, and there's no way anybody would uncode this without being shown it. So, okay, right, just an interesting one as well. A little code, in a biblical code. Right, David, who is King Karadak. Um, well, his name is actually King David Karadak Ap Bran. But they've removed the David. I'll come to that a little bit later if we've got time. But I just want to show you. So when, when the, the Ark was hidden, the Ark of the Covenant, right, it was taken to the house of... Obed Edom. Okay, amazingly, I, mean, I don't know if this guy was real or is just code, but it, it is actually a code. Right, taken to the hopes of Obed Eden and Eden basically, where it went to the Ark of the Covenant, I can tell you now, is under this lock, this, the, under the Temple of Solomon. It's exactly where it should be in Jerusalem. The only thing is, nobody knows it, to, well, apart from you watching, hopefully by now we'll realise that this really is Jerusalem, the Ark of the Covenant, and I've done an extensive decoding of that as well, and something else to come on it. But this Obed Edom is... Oh, do me bed. Okay, it's talking to me. This code is definitely talking to me. So where's my bed? My bed is at Kyle Went House. I'm sorry, my bed is in Kyle Went, the place called Kyle Went, which is they've got the given name of Venticide Room where they've hidden Jerusalem. Okay, so Kyle Went, so the house of Obed Edom is the house of Old Doomy Bed. So the house is Kawent House. Well, that is the name of the house that I was registered at birth, right literally 15 feet from the lot that breaks the mate, which I later break the matrix or the matrix and bring the end time message to you. Okay, folks, just bear with me a second. Okay, folks, now on to the, the actual atlas, right? The next thing is the most astounding message or set of messages that I've, well, probably ever witnessed, to be truthful. Let me just shrink this down a little bit. Right, what we, what we have is this, right, this line. Unbelievably, this is a place called Began. And I don't know whether you can see this, but it very, and I'm sure this is deliberate, but it actually imitates the almost imitates the Orion constellation. Now remember that the Orion is, is the centre of the biggest message that we've re you know, received so far, and it, it tells you that, that Yar is returning. I'll run that message by a little bit later. But this place goes from, this place is called Began. It's in just outside of Cardiff, basically a little town. Okay. It then runs through, without getting into two, I don't want to go for every single one, but it goes through Gear Newport, now, here's the important bit. It crosses the Usk. Now, once I broke the first line, now, bear in mind that the triangle UFO um, drawing on the map um, encoded is, is made up from the code. But basically, it, it, it crosses the Usk, the Avon, um, the Seven, and the, and the Y. Okay, so what I, what, what I, well, what I quickly realised was that these, the, 
each one, there must be lines crossing each of these rivers because that would tie the message up beautifully, which it indeed does. Then we've got Somerton, Bishpool, uh, Clan, sorry, yes, Ring, well, you can't see them all, but I'll show you what they are, but they're Bishpool, Ringland, Alway, Landivord, Penhow, Land, Clan Vacus, Penhow is actually Penhow Post Office is here. So I know this area is Penhow, even if it's slightly off the line. Clan Vacus, uh, Clan Vare Discoid, same with that one. When you draw the ring around it, you get it crosses the line, and that is how I oh, same, that, that is how I essentially do it. That that's actually an amazing code in that. But uh, anyway, without that. And then what it does, it then goes to the key. Okay. This is Solomon's key. It's not the best picture, so let me just show you a better one. Okay, this is the key of Solomon. This is how you break the Solomon code. And when I talk about the Melin, the Mel H, this is the key at Clan Melin. Again, I can't go into everything, but when you decode it, it's Clan Melvin, which is my family. Um, again, again, too much to go into. I'll just show you the while we're at it. There's, and I don't know if you can see this too well. But on the temple itself, this is the temple of Solomon, Mon, or Mon Solo Temple, if you spin it round the other way. There's the, the padlock, the, the, this is the actual padlock. This is the keyhole that the key in Lamelling goes in that breaks the code effectively. Again, can't go into it. And when you hear me talk about the RGH house or the, the G house as it was encoded, it is literally Kerwent House, which is, lit, which is pretty much just, just off to the side here. And that's where I was my registered birthplace, registered birthplace. So as you can see, there's an awful lot of coincidences, if nothing else. Yeah, it shows better. That, that's probably a good picture. Where they dug this and filled it all back in, which is makes you wonder why. But the Ark of the Covenant, the literal Ark of the Covenant, is under this. I can tell you that now, hundred percent. And I've encoded it, unencoded it extensively. Okay, right back to the map. Okay. Now, uh, which one? Right, oh, hang on, let me just get this one first. Right, so from Clan Melin, now we're going to, we basically go across, go through Hayesgate, Mathen, then it crosses the River Wye, Beachley, and the River Severn. So there you've got two, three more, three of the four rivers you need really to, to connect it all together. And then it goes cross country. I mean, you only pick up the towns that, that literally cross it. Oh, where are you? And the trouble is the line goes through it, which covers them up, which doesn't help. But you've got, well, there's Luckington, uh, Seagree, you've got Seagree Heath there, but upper lower Seagree Heath. And then you've got Seagree actually passes through it. Dauncey Lock. Then it comes to a place called uh, well, you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but no, you can't. But you've got West Tockenham. If it, oh, it's going to crash, I think. No, West Tockenham. Basically, this place here is, oh, there we go, Tockenham. Okay, then we go from Tockenham and we follow it back. Again, we do the same thing. We take all the places, slightly off skew, actually. You've got Drake Otson, Christian Malford. I dropped the line a bit. Castle Coombe. Oh, I forget where all they, they are. I haven't done this too accurately. I've put it up there to match the line on the arm. But and it comes to a place called Tockingham in, in um, Clevedon. From Tockingham, goes back over the River Severn. Um, sorry, and, and, and the, oh, sorry, and Clifton is another one. And this is where it crosses at Clifton. It crosses the, the River Avon. So that's another one of the key, the key play, key, key of the three river or four rivers code. Okay, so Clifton, then back to Tottenham, and then it goes across. It goes through a place called Black, what's it called? Black Black Town, and then back back to Began. This should actually be somewhere down here, and back through St Melons as well. Black 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 Town and St Melons. Okay, now what I'm going to show you. Is each of these towns and I'm going to unscrabble the message from these four different lines now let me just show you right now this connects to the to the sh the, the, the right I've, I've drawn this quickly right first thing to know is that this 
I can tell you is the co a picture. This picture is the constellation. If I shrink it down a bit, the constellation of, and I know this because of the code in it, but you'll see at the end. It's the constellation of reticulum. The reticulum, the reticule. Okay. And so, right, well, I'll come back to that now with the, the, the um, oh, I don't know if you can see this. Let me just move this across because I can't move it. Okay, reticulum, the reticule. And so there we got the same thing. I, I thought initially this was, I thought it was, um, uh, what's it called? Fornax the Furnace, which would have been interesting because they're very, very similar. Well, that one's very much encoded as well with something that relates to this. So it's quite bizarre that both of them actually, they're quite similar. Okay, so without further ado, let me just get you back to, uh, to the lines. Oh, uh, let me just show you. Right. Okay, just to show you how this all fits in, because this is important. Okay, this line, I've now drawn in, if you see, when I've drawn in the ship. This, this is a quick version of it, but there is an encoded ship, and this represents the Argus Navis, the rescue ship, basically, which again, I'll, I'll show you more on that just shortly. It goes from the Royal Gwent Hospital in Newport. It's, well, without going into all the code, the Carina the keel is the car in the keel, which is the M4 motorway, which is there. There's a little side road that even makes even makes a rudder. You've got the back end there of the ship. Oh, but the, the most important part of this, right, the ship's mast, when I did it originally, let me just tie it up. It should be there. Okay, well, what it does, it goes through Noah's Ark Farm Zoo, and this is important. So you've got the mast that goes cuts through, which I've, I normally start the mast from there, but by dropping it to there, because it does tell me at one point to connect it to this line and to identify something. This line miraculously goes through, not only with the, the, uh, the very, well, practically the bedroom window of where I lived as a lad, see lad I caught Caldicott. Um, that is where I lived as a lad after moving from Sorry, this is all a bit messy. Let me just move that back there. After moving from where the um, the lock is on the temple, and like I say, this this is the bedroom, or sorry, this is the house where, where, where my registered place of birth, literally 15 feet from this lock. Now, this is important to realise that this mast, and that's the, the key with this, the mast and, the, and, the, and, and, and where the house is, um, where my crib was, okay? because this is all part of an amazing code. Right, bear with me a second, let me get back to the board. Okay, let me just adjust the camera a bit for. Okay, as you can, as you can see, the map lines kind of, kind of come with a message to in it anyway, with this part. Right, okay, began, number one, we go from began to the key, from the key to Tockenham, to the top, Tockingham to Tickenham to Tickenham to began, back to began. So what you've got is, is began key, tick tock, or top tick, count, counting down, really. And that, that's what this is all about, counting down to the to the, the Argus Navis Evac rescue. It sounds crazy. But when you see the messages, you, you'll understand why this this is, um, and, and this is encoded with something absolutely spectacular, but I'll leave that till the end. Okay, bear with me, folks, while I start naming up the places and the codes. Okay, folks, as you can see, uh, right, the, the places in question are Began Gear, the Usk, which is the river, Somerton, Bishpool, Ringland, Alway, Clandevord, Penhow, Clanvacus, Clanvendiscoid, and Clanbellin. And when I looked at this, there was an awful lot of L's in this, but I, obviously uh, uh, it's well hidden. Right, what it actually says when you inscribe this letter for letter is all David, this is King David, who was King Caradoc, David Caradoc at Bran, and there's a code in that, which hopefully I'll show you later. All David, all Solomon key, okay? So confirming Solomon's key and David. Uncode a remnant soul saving ship. Okay, obviously this is the Argus Navis, and I'll show you how that connects to that word now. 
He opened seal, that would be me, bind RGH land evac. Well, I've already showed you the land evac and everything else that goes with it, but there's a whole lot more to come on that. Or war warning bell. Now, it, in the, the country, that the fake country in the Middle East, which I think, uh, I don't even want to think where this is going, but a war warning bell, basically, get, get prepared, I would suggest, because, and if you, you know, uh, we'll, World War Three is coming. There is no doubt in my mind, and the war has to happen first before the evac, before the the, for the final part, which is encoded also in this in these lines. Okay, so uncoded remnant soul saving ship. Well, Argus Navis is the constellation that breaks down. I forget the actual code in it. It's in the last video, but it says something about Marco. Something does the evac LZ or something or Gumby LZ, and then it says. Um, pick up the people that evac Earth. Okay, that's the con that's that's the that's the, the four constellations. The message in in the four constellations that make up the ancient constellation of the what is now called the Argo Navis, but that has been changed. But if you look at the small print kind of thing on Wikipedia, it says that its generative term is the Argus is Argus Navis, and that is the real name. They've changed it, but they they're not fooling ya. Okay. Right, how do I know it's the Argus Navis? Well, number one, it's the new, it's the, it's the same first, the news, Solomon's newspaper ship, basically, or like I've showed you. But what this actually says, I did it on the last video, and this now confirmed, this word confirms what I showed you on the last video, because this says, Saving a ruse. And as I pointed out on the last bit, all you need to add to it is the word remnant. And the remnant are the remainder, those that are basically make it out of, of what is coming, basically. And obviously, I didn't expect it to be an evac ship. I thought when I was uncoding this, obviously, I thought, well, I thought it was a safe zone initially, and they, but I did wonder. But obviously, I showed a ton of code prior to this, two videos worth, showing, and it's even encoded in my name, as we'll go through later on. But the answer, all you do is you now add the remnant. It's also called the ship. So it's, it's, it's Argus Navis, the, the ship. So it would be the ship saving a ruse. And then you use the remnant, the soul saving ship. Okay. The open seal, bind RGH, land evac. Well, I just showed you how to do that. It's the RGH. And all war warning bell is because things have just took a notch up with this Middle East thing. And believe me, we're fast heading towards World War Three. I have no doubt of that. Okay, folks, so that's just line one. Now, you wait till you see the rest. Bear with me. Just just before I uh, before I forget, because I've got a habit of doing that, meaning to show you something. But just to show why these cross these rivers and why it's so important. Because encoded in the USK7, Avon and Y, and it has more than one meaning. You saw Vionki also means clan, it's to do with clan Melvin, which is my family name. But it says Sin Avi, you saw Vionki. Well, if you've got the Sin Avi is the lock, that's the meeting point at the temple, at the house, the RGH house. And then you've got the V, the V on the key is, is basically, you do, well, it's obvious when you know, when you've broken this code, you know it's the evac, and that's what it is, the evacuation from Earth. Just to tally that one up quickly and show you why the, the, this, this code crosses the rivers as well. Okay, folks, line number two. Clan Mellon, Hayesgate, Mathen, the River Y, Beachley, the River, that's the seven. Alveston, Luckington, Seagree, Dauncey Lock, Lynham and Tockenham. Okay, incredible message again. And like I say, only one of four, two or four. Sent Angel, that's me. I, and, I, and as I've said before, I have no recollection of anything prior to this. But and, and all I know is what's in this code. Even the, I mean, the, map, the line of the ship on the deck says something about Angel Marco Go. He forget all. Absolutely true. I don't remember anything at all. I literally, and I'm glad in a way that I don't, well, I, you know, I, well, no, I sometimes wish I had the new, new more, but it's sort of like, it, I'm, I'm sort of kind of fine, trying to work, 
I don't know, I'm just trying to understand it because I don't get it, but apparently I was an archangel, that's what the code says, and I've been sent on a mission to un undo that, but, the, but this is proof of it, really. Okay, say, anyway, sent angel, uncode his key, well, that's the clan Melvin, type of Jerusalem, you can literally work my full name out from, 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 literally, well, from Jerusalem, Melling, and, and, and Gumry is Mr. Guy as well, which is the Welsh word for Wales. Literally put it all together and you get my complete full name, which then uncodes with my mission. And if you're an angel, well, an angel is a messenger. And it doesn't get much better when you've got the full message in your name that, tell, that confirms everything that I'm showing you now. I'll come to that, though. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, uncode is key. Solves my entry, evac 9. This, this 9 is to do with the 666, thinks form and few. And then you've got the, the seven 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 G G G. This is G Jerusalem. Oh, I forget what it is altogether. The seven is seen V as well. The V is the evac as, as much as anything. The R V with River Seven. Um, I, 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 I but basically is, there's, there's so many of them. I don't even know. In fact, I don't even know which ones to use. But seven 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 eight 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 is well H man. The H is the hospital as well with the evac because this is this would be Jerusalem on, on top. This is H. You've got the river as well in between, so you've got your R G H because underneath Kyle went at the or just between the lock and the key is a military a military base now owned by the British, but was formerly owned by the United States Air Force, given up about ten years ago. But this is the bunk, uh, the bunker that the Vatican. And the and and Fink and the, who's the owner of Blackrock, all the, all uncoded. The number of the beast is FFF, which is the sixth letter of the alphabet. It's Fink's fallen few. The few is the w, the beast is the WEF. Just reverse it. World Economic Forum, and the man is Fink. Don Douglas Douglas Lawrence Fink, and his name unbelievable code. You know, like I say, you'll have to go back, but. But it's sort of, a, I'll show you what else it is as well with that as well, because Countenance Divine is also a code. Okay, Sol's my entry, evac 9. Name the RGH, well that's the Royal Gwent Hospital, seal at lock. So you see it at the lock, like I've already gone through that. It says, well obviously this is talking post tense, or, or later on I'm assuming, rally many. <laughs> Unbelievably it says name not luck, and I will show you what my name says again, I showed it on the last one. But um, it's absolutely, well, it's like I say, an angel has a message. Well, I carry it in my name. I didn't even realise. And I'd already encoded everything before I even realised. It was one of the last things I've sort of come to realise that my name is even coded as well. Okay, and it says, why he be a light? Well, the reason he'd be a light is because of Sol, and it's all to do with Sol and Moon. The Sol is the sun. And then you've got the moon, like I showed you. And then when it comes to the full, highlights the safe zone. So it's the moon that's run like the moon house, well, basically. And all these videos I do every time I work nights, you know, it's 25 past two in the morning right now. And, and, and you know, I'm sort of kind of being the moon, well, I am the moon sign in cancer, because cancer is a moon sign. And I'm the moon sign shining the light. But uh, the sun and the moon sign in Cancer, again, I, I showed you all at the beginning. Okay, um, right, bear with me a second. Let me just break, <laughs> again, I, 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 let's just do it. Okay, just to back all this up. Uh, right, okay, countenance divine. There's two codes in this, you add a H and you get Kent enhance. Divine, ID, uh, or ID Vine. Well, the vine, you can decode my mother and father's name. It makes the tree, the elm tree, the replanted tree. Um, it's the tree of life. Is the mel tree or the elm tree. Melin is, mel is elm, clan melin, or the clan melvin tree. Okay. Now, divine, uh, Kentner's divine. Okay. This is an anagram of what we in Just show you, I'll do it just so you can see there's no. E V A C, Evac. 
Okay, I'll end count nine, evac. This is what it means by nine, because it's a 999 emergency code. It's an emergency sort of evacuation from Earth, basically. But, uh, and again, I don't want anyone to think that this is... I, I don't know this, ultimately, but what I feel, and what I feel is usually right, is that this is going to... This ship is going to land, and it's kind of like the whole world is going to know. As, uh, you know, and, and, and like... People are going to be given a choice. Unfortunately, Christians are going to be like... Oh, I don't want to go into that, but if you go in the last video, you'll see what I, what I mean with that, with the bitter and sweet, sweet for bitter. Okay, but NK9, okay, right. And then as well, the, the actual code, you know, my entry and my evac, right. Job 9.9 <laughs> is where the code is it's like the, the, the gold statement of the, of the testament. Because it's the job 99 or the 99 job. Okay, right. As well, the wisdom of the ancients, I got this wrong. Right, it says to seek the wisdom of the, of, of the ancient of days. Well, the ancient of days was Methuselah, and this is Noah's grandfather. Okay, so th there's a code in this. It says, them, you, Seal H, okay, right, but right, I got it wrong. I said that he was 999 years old when, when he died. The, I got it slightly wrong, I was corrected on it. What it is, uh, he, he was actually 969, but this is very, very clever because what, what you've got now is you've got the six and the nine, which is your cancer constellation. So it's showing you with it's, it's relating it to the pillars, and then what you've got is equals is the not the third nine. So the third nine goes on there, and it's the job nine nine. Okay, so the nine nine job is the, it, again is all to do with it's like an it's, it's like an emergency, like a hospital ship. As well, it is a hospital ship. That's what it says. It says do not fear. Oh, anyway, right? Okay. Um, bear in mind that the, the, the actual code. It says in Job 99, it says, who who, who makes up Art Taurus, the Pleiades, and um, Orion? Well, when you uncode Orion the Hunter, Art Taurus, and Pleiades the Seven Sisters, it says, I see, again, I did this on the last video, but this is like the, the crux of it, but this obviously ties to the Sol's My Entry Evac 9. Okay, right, uh, I see, truth returns. He says there's no truth in the land. Well, I put the truth back in the land, for not, not, not by my own doing, but I see truth returns, so I return on H. I should have paused you really, in fact, bear with me a second. Okay, folks, so just, just to confirm it, the code says, Saint Angel, uncode his key. Solves my entry evac 9. Well, I just showed you how to do that. Me and the RJ, you see a lot, round men, he may not look, why he'd be a light. Okay, again, I'm going to put this because it's the most important part of all. Jesus is not returned. There is no Jesus to return. The truth is, Yah is returning. The, the Creator is returning. Obviously, we must have been with man at some point in time. And he, he's clearly returning. And the, 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 the secret, absolute priceless message, the gold statement of the gold testament, testament statement being a, an anagram of one another, a gold statement is actually written in Job 9.9, 9, which work out the 9, the 9 are also the Sayuri, that's why he says them you. The Sayuri of the ninth tribe. Okay, Simeon, me, me and Sion, me, Sion. Okay, Sion, Jerusalem. Okay, so... Um, I see truth return, return, I see truth returns, so I return on H. Please set evac H IDs. What, you know, I mean, you can see that this is like, my, well, if this is coincidence, I'm going to make a lot of money on a book. Um, you know, with, with, with a, I'll have to create the happy ending. But, um, well, I say happy, it's going to be happy in some respect, but not in others. For, you know, uh, it, right, okay, moving on from that one, let's go to line three. Okay, folks, Tickenham, Lynham, Christine Malford, Sutton Benger, Draycott Cern, Upper Castlecombe, 
Castle Coombe, Easton, St Agnes, Kingsdown, Clifton, across the River Avon and Tockenham. Okay, what an incredible line. Now going back, I mean, this is way back in videos, early days, I've mentioned many times the TikTok line. Now, I knew Sutton Benger because there's an ancient tribes code that fits Sutton Benger, and I knew the, 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 the word Nibiru was in the, it was in, in the word Ben or Sutton Benger. Now, Nibiru is the Babylonian, the correct spelling of, of Nibiru, which is a fiery planet, basically, which is without doubt hurtling this way. Um, obviously, this, is, this comes after the EVAC, and it also completes the 10 as well. Because Nibiru is also, this is an anagram of Reuben, Reuben of the 10th tribe. So once you've done the 999, you've got the, well, the Roman 10, basically, for all those following the Roman Catholics, you get a Roman numeral for 10 is XXX. Or is X, basically. So X is 10, so it's telling you, and again, I could go into detail with these three X's, Herbiculosis or Herbiculus, oh, I don't know, but Planet X, Nibiru, Herbiculus or something. I did the code in that one last time. Okay, so see TikTok, Nibiru line. <laughs> now this, this may be giggle because I, I always, oh, well for the last, quite a few videos I've said, I don't do, you know, it's not some fantasy that I'm showing you this. I, I don't, I'm not washed by a book that tells me a man in the sky is going to come on a white horse and rescue everybody. And, and, and really, why should anyone believe that? It's a book we don't even know who wrote it. And, and really, it's just a, it's an absolute lie. And I'm unpicking Revelations piece by piece because it's based on ancient works and, and so a lot of it has been made up. But I did say that, you know, it's not fan I'm not doing this. It's not some fantasy thing that I, I, I'm making up. I literally get shown these codes and then I get to show them to you. Um, if he if, again, I'll state it again. If, if I was if I was to come on here with nothing to back it up and say to you, or oh, uh, like, well, what you would call, but what people call God, but Yah spoke to me and told me to let you know that there's going to be an evacuation of Earth on a on a on a on a spaceship called the Argus Navis um, after a war and everything else. You you think I was bonkers and rightly so. I would as well if if it wasn't for this. But the clever way this is done, it's done because it's all pre-planned and it fits perfectly when he says, I show you things in ancient times, um, things not yet done, I think it was. Um, and when they come to happen, you know I did it and I am your, well, creator, God, use God in the book, but the creator, I am your, I am your creator, your father, whatever, um, there, uh, and saviour, there is no other. There is no saviour. I'm not a saviour. I am literally the messenger angel with a message in my name and a ton of code to back it up that, come, that I've done in, in absolute, well, ridiculous amount of time and it, you should never find it. Never mind it shouldn't be there. It's a miracle in itself that I'm able to even do this. You know, I, I'm not like I didn't go to university. I'm a security guard in, in a place that goes to my name and everything else. But that's another story. Go back to the videos, you'll see that. Even the Vatican is encoded to tell you that where I work when you follow the key. Um, but anyway, okay, right. So let's just carry on. C TikTok line, and this C is critical because this C is so locking in. And I think in this case, it locks in everything. It locks in the EVAC, Nibiru. It's not fantasy. Um, it's to establish the Mel Fort, Melin, that's the key. Argus ship, that's the name of the constellation and the Argus EVAC. New Kingdom plan. So he's clearly planning to take the survivors, well, those that make it, or get onto the ship. And I don't know whether he's going to destroy the earth. And, well, he says, I create a new heaven and a new earth. So I don't know. But whichever way, it is clearly, and, and like I say, there's going to be so many deceived. Oh, man, they're going to play this up as the Antichrist. And that's even encoded, saying that the lawyer's Antichrist, as it says. Um okay right so the mel right so saint marco name code well that's because my name i'll show you the code in that in a second to establish the mel fort argus ship evac new kingdom plan connect my sacred angel crib on noah mast now if you remember when i showed you the map the map this uh, right let me just get yeah, let me 
me just get rid of this a second. I'm like, okay, but as you can see, I mean, you can pause this and look at this, go through it yourself. It took some blooming doing, but, you know, it's like, makes your eyes go square when you're uh, <laughs> doing them over and over and over. And you've got to, you know, I spend longer put, trying to put it, well, not putting it together. I know what it says. It's the, the, the setting it all up for these videos is the hardest part. Right, okay, so... Right, where do we go from here? Yeah, bear with me. Oh, where have I done with my name code? There he is. Okay, so when he says, well, he says name, firstly, the one, the, the code says, uh, name not luck, firstly. Then it says, uh, connect, right, let's connect the sacred angel on the crib. Well, as I showed you, it makes this constellation of reticulum, which I'll come to, Obviously, and then what you've got uh, on this line here, about here, is Noah's Ark, basically. Uh, sorry, Noah's Ark Farm Zoo. Now, if you know, well, I, with the mast of the the ship made up of the oh, I bet that's ridiculously big. Hold on. Okay, right. What what you've got is just above this. This 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 is this this is the line with the bear room. This is the this is the TikTok line, okay? What you've got is um, is the mass that goes up from the giraffe. That's all encoded as well. Even the giraffe, the Camelopardalis, the giraffe constellation named my daughter. The anchor of this ship goes down into the desert. Um, even decodes the anchor. It's something about we make Ella a little art zoo maze. Um, there's a load of code in that. Well, my daughter's name is Ella. My other daughter Kelsey is is encoded. In the nebulas of, of the, the Camelopardalis or whatever it's called. But anyway, right, let's just do this way. Right? So, what you've got, it crosses, I don't know. So, well, you see now, I've done it anyway. I don't know. You've got the ship anyway. But it crosses there. But what it is, is this lock is on Kyle went literally where Kyle went house, where my crib was. And that's what I mean. This is the RGH EVAC house or the rendezvous for the evac which is the key is sort of just up north slightly so you've got the key to the ship um and i'll show you this reticulum now because that's incredible what that says okay so you've got the ship and this the mass literally when it goes through cal 57 longfellow road where i live practically through my bedroom window where i was in the cot caldecott because we moved from and that says, see, lad, I caught. Well, the lad I caught, the lad he caught, was in Caldecott, right by there on the ship mast, after moving from my crib. And that's what he says. See, my... Uh, wrong one. Connect, connect my sacred angel crib on Noah Mast. Well, that's how you connect the crib. And it says, in, in, in the Old Testament, it says, well, I think it's in, it is in the book of Job, canst thou abide by thy crib? Well, I am abiding by my crib because I live kind of five, well, two minutes walk from where I was literally in the womb of the Matrix when I came into this world. But obviously, I don't remember anything before, but clearly, and he used the word, my sacred angel, connect my sacred angel crib on Noah's mast. The word sacred is also a code because it's, well, I'm obviously unscrabbing it but you can see sacred s-a-c-r-e-d so and it's the cast evac from the red dragon the red dragon is also nibiru so the angel is the messenger okay what is the, the, oh, right okay let's do the mess just so in case you haven't seen the last video to show you how absolutely crazy this is or well not crazy well, it is crazy but it, it's miraculous at the same time Oh, where are you? It says, right, okay, so, okay, in the context of this code, and this is why you have to use it, my name, which can be decoded from the, all the Solomon symbology as well, which is absolutely insane, and it's encoded in the, in the fort names, the Giza pyramids, oh, unbelievable, right, okay, so my name is Marco John. Now, this is where the app Melvin, which in Welsh means son of. So if I, if I went with my full Welsh name, this, this, this is my actual name. Now, the, the seal, 
that this comes from to get the, the, the you get the C and the Z because this is important and then you get M I forget which order you go in I'm gonna make it up but Mel I know that one's there and there's an I you get the G and the H which is your G H you've got a crown on it which also gives you your royal as well so it's R G H just done in a different order there's more to it than that but this is your secret H man this is your G G is going to be Mr. Guy as well. But, right, okay, so let's just do my full name. So it says my name, name not luck. Okay, it says, Real name for Wales in Welsh is Gumbry. When you walk, when you come into Wales, it says Crossio in Gumbry. Welcome to Wales. All you've got left then is this L, and this is where it says it, it says something about use the seal or something. Where is it on the first one? I believe uh, the open seal bind RGH land evac. So there's the seal. This is the seal you open, and this is the one where I found that this was the L Z. So you literally haven't looked at an angel name, literally. Okay, so that, that sort of sums that one up. Right, I'm going to have to go a second, just bear with me. The milkman's arrived whilst I'm saving the world, just bear with me. Okay, folks, sorry about that. Right, that's the milkman dealt with. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, Cass, well, join H on map evac, Gumbry LZ. It's, just in case anyone knew, the key actually points if you follow it down it points it lands directly on where i work but with the slightest of adjustment and i mean the slightest of adjustment over 2000 plus or whatever it is plus miles it goes pinpoint it goes through caution the actual place caution where i mean east lays caution uh east lays caution um, it goes through directly through the Giza pyramid. They're all coded as well. All three, all, 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 all three of the pyramid decode to my name. And then it goes to the feet of the Sphinx, which is a code in itself. We they get into that. I've done it on others, but there, it passes caution there. And easily, well, caution is Marcos H. So to, just to show you what the H is, Eastley's caution is yes, Atlas. Marcos H. Like I say, and there's a whole lot more than, than that to it. This whole area is encoded as well. Okay, I'm just trying to show you how, how incredible all these codes actually are. But well, we just couldn't make it up. Right, bear with me two seconds, folks. Okay, folks, the final fourth line. Tickenham, Seven, St. Melons, Black Town and began, obviously back from ticking up, well, back to where we began, basically, making this full, um, const well, what, 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 I'll show you now what it says, but the, this constellation, obviously as well with the, with the ship in it, but obviously that's not part of the code. Right, okay, Black Town I began, now I think what this is, is because this is Newport. When I was born, Newport was a town, it's now a city, but the town I began, where the Royal Arch of Cancer is, where I was born, is, is Newport, Cass Neweth, and the Royal Gwent Hospital. Um, and it's pretty much, well, obviously began, and then the next point is the is gear, but obviously on this one, you've got, you've got Newport. Again, the Cassie Vac and the Thy New, oh, well, like I say, I could go in, in a million different directions. But back then, I began. Seen RV, Lock Mel, H-Man, last sent in. I think, see, now I, I got this the other day as well. This is really strange. Okay, the code is Mel H. And we've got a ship. And what it says, this is the helm as well. Well, the helm of the ship is the wheel, basically. It's the wheel that guides the ship. 
<laughs> the ship's wheel. And I think this is, again, it's all part of, of, of this whole, sh the, you know, the ship thing, the, the, the guiding to the ship. Um, but Lock Mel, well, I saw the Lock Mel H. Man. Right, okay, last sent in. What does that mean? Okay, before I get to the constellation itself, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, so the last sent in. Well, it says, right, okay. So last sent in, he says, well, effectively, he obviously says he sent angels. So sent an angel. Last, so the last, well, last in bit type thing. Okay, right, okay. Well, effectively it's sent, right, sent a last angel. Okay, the, fi the, the, the final angel to obviously bring the final message, I guess. But what it actually is, it's sent As well, just to tie it up, sent Atlas Angel with a message written in the Atlas using the map tricks. Okay. What it right. So what why right I know that I well I instantly knew it was a star constellation. I don't even know why. I thought I'd seen it before, but it just put it in my head, it just go there. Reticule. Now, I'm not going to lie, when I looked at this, I thought, you've got to be joking. And they, I thought, it cannot be. It just doesn't look to be any obvious. Well, it didn't initially look to be anything obvious. But this now confirms everything I just said. went through me as I knew instantly what it was talking about. Okay. It says them true, meaning them four lines are true. It relic clue. Okay, now this is solving the entire puzzle. The relic, relic is basically a, a, an item of historical, of great historical importance. Well, they don't get more important than Okay, so the, the, the clue is the relic is the Ark of the Covenant, which is buried under Jerusalem, under the lock. Again, I've done extensive videos on that as well. Um, right, okay, so Ark of the Covenant is... You get this... This is like a trademark thing of yeah. Um, uh, what is it? What is it? Um, you've got the C as well, so locking in everything in the code. And A-H... E V uh, E N T K R A F T. O C Noah event craft, because the Noah event craft is the Argus Navis. Which is saving the, the ship that saves the Roos remnant. So, and he says, that, well, the first time it was a flood, obviously. And then the, the, he said, well, he said the final bit, the final thing is by fire. And that's what this is all about. It's about getting off, getting right with Yah, getting off this, well, realizing it's true. He's not expecting you to believe, you know, it, 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 you know, people don't know any, there's no other, well, it's, apart from a Bible and a few dodgy historical documents, which are probably lies as well. There's no real evidence and nothing to prove that Jesus is real. And, and like I said it in the first video I ever did. It's like Russian roulette. How do you, you know? How are we expected to believe 
Which which one? You go with them. You go with Islam or Muslim? Or what? And, and is that one right? Or, or, or do we burn in hell because we got it wrong? Well, you've got to know, or at least well. And, and if this doesn't prove that, and he's telling you that none of them are right, actually, the, 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 you know, this is we've been lied to. Everything is a lie. Everything we've been told is a lie. I don't, uh, you know, there's no. I've, well, I've extended, and and the worst bit is. We, you know, Christians are being set up worse than anybody, and, and well, they all are really. But um, like I say, I don't know this, but I do hope that the, um, you know, this emergency evac, even though it's an emergency, I think it's going to be time for people to see this. Obviously, the news are going to lie and play it up as the return, the return of the Nephilim or whatever. They've been pulling this stunt for years. All of a sudden, there's an uptick, and they start to admit UFOs. And they and they call them a, a you know a threat to national security. Yeah, because I got a feeling that those at the top already know the that well they clearly know they hear from the, the little ones that are popping around. I don't know whether they know there's a great big armada over Russia, maybe over Israel as well. I don't know where they are exactly, but it says over I'm over war zone. I'm assuming Russia because at the time I did it, and, and I think they they they're watching that one. But the Middle East is in, well Jerusalem. That Israel, when that falls, they're going to realise that they're not the chosen people, and that's what's sad about it. These people are all being sacrificed. Like, right, well, you know, but they're right. Okay, one last one. <laughs> the Ark of the Testimony. Okay, so what, the, what I'm going by the, the kind of Jewish thing. But they reckon, they say, well, what they're saying is, is the lid. Well, well, a testimony is obviously something when you're showing people, well, it's the ark of my testimony is the Argus Navis. Okay. Um, I don't know whether this is a code, right? But I'm going to put it out there. Apparently, it's supposed to be the lid of the, you know, the lid that goes on the top. And they've got the two angels or whatever. I don't know how it works, but, but the lid. Okay. Which would be which would be a seal. Okay. Um, right. Firstly, let me just do the ark of the testimony. So we got. Uh, bear with me. I've got a blank. Uh, where are we? Ah, there we are. Right. Oh, instantly, for anyone who's, who's not from the, obviously wouldn't be not necessarily from this area, Mon is Monmouthshire. Monmouthshire is the kingdom of Solomon, or Solomon, it's Solomon's kingdom. It's not in the Middle East, and the whole thing is a lie. Jerusalem is there, the Garden of Eden is even there, I've even uncoded that. If you follow the key, directly through the lock, literally cut it in half, and then you find there's a great big apple opposite where I live, in the shape, a mound in the shape of literally in the shape of apple. I've done it on previous videos. Go and have a look at it. And it's all to do with the cancer. And this is the crab apple. Don't bite the apple of Eden. Basically, this is this is this represents the reskinned, the reskinned Horus and Amen Ra. Um, again, like I say, to go into it, but Jesus is Horus. Basically, is reskinned Egypt. So this is what they've got you worshiping when you say Amen. It's a great deception. Amen is, is an anagram of name. What you're supposed to do is name Yah as your creator God and, and put your prayers to him. And what, they, what he's done, he, he tagged himself on to uh, uh, Amen, on, changed it to Amen, tagged it on to Ra, deceived Egypt, deceived... Oh, like I say, I don't want to get into it, but, but it's all to do with the snake in the garden, whose real name is Ra, using Satan as a, as a kind of... Because obviously you don't want you putting two and two together that you keep sending your everybody Christians are sending their prayers to the blimmin the, the snake in the garden from the Garden of Eden. But like I say, go through the Eden videos and you'll see again that. Okay. I set a key for one. Okay. See this is to seal the lid. Well like I say I don't know I don't know I'm sure this is right. But the, the seal is that as I showed you CZ. 
It's just um, and then just drop this the seal Z in there. C O I C O or C O L O I C D L C O L Z I D. I set it key for mom. It's all coded, people. Like I say, I, I'm going to have to cut this one. Well, I don't think it's short. I'm not sure how long this one's been, but like I say, if I people, if I, if I well, on the well, I'd have to say on the trillion to one shot that this uh, that this was all coincidence. I will stand. I will put. I will hold my head up. Because to find all this, and I know it's, it's definitely as hard as it is even for me to believe that a spaceship, you, when you see this, you, I just, I'm just at a loss to say, to understand, never mind, well, I know how I get it as well, that's what makes it more crazy, I don't know what you call it, but, but the fact that I can encode all this, and like I say, don't be fooled by my intelligence level. I, I have, I've got nothing to show for it, qualification-wise, really. And, and, you know, I'm just, wow, I thought I was just a normal guy, living a normal, <laughs> excuse the pun, living a normal life. Um, something happened in the pen pandemic. I, I ended up, well, I gave up my business to bring this message, and it was just like instinctive. I don't even know how you, how you can even... I don't even know how to put in words what happened. But anyway, folks, this is what you need to do. Stand in the letter Y, lower your head, feet together, put your sins on your palms, and then, like I always tell you, in the reflection, what I got is the unlocking of the Cancer Constellation safe zone again. Okay, so like I say, this is the reflection, this is the seven, the river seven, Sinar V. Then you've got, like I say, Solomon's paper. Well, let's just do that one. We'll put the two together. It makes it basically the star of the solid seal, the, the star of Solomon, or what you know, the seal of Solomon. But what you've got is 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 well, let's put it together as a star, um, and then it's a paper ship, so it's well, clearly the Argus starship. And that's what, how you escape the matrix, or the matrix, or what is coming. Um, again, it's, I'll do it finally just so you know, and grab it, go and pray. All code. C, like I said, it's so locking. So King Solomon, so we're not King Solomon. And uh, well, I'm not even gonna cross them off. But when you when you basically anagram this, it's Coelin. I think I saw it spelling at Karadak. Who ruled from well, his father is David or David Karadak at Bran. They've removed the David. Um, I'm not even gonna do that code right now, but because I'm absolutely shattered from this. But as you can see, this is what you need to do to unlock. This would be the, the lock and the key, by the way. So this is this is a map. Of, this is the same sort of map. If I draw the pillars of Solomon, and that's what you get basically. Then this is me standing in the letter Y, my hands up, sins on palms, head low, and say, say, well, I've done it already. Saying sorry for everything I've done wrong and really meaning it, because that's important. Um, like I say, do, you, you, if you call in on Jesus, you can forget it. The hour is coming, and there is no no other saviour. Not me. You know, I said I, I, I joked. I said about the milkman coming and save the world. I will add to that that I am not the one. I'm not. I'm not a saviour. I'm the guide to guide you to Yah to to do the right thing to get prepared and ready for when all this goes down. And on that note, folks, I um I just hope this this video has opened your eyes to the world path. But, you know, the reality of what is going on. And on that, I will wish you guys blessings and I'll see you soon.